Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll draw this model from StatCAD CAM site, and this will be a practical exercise in FreeCAD. So now let's go to FreeCAD, and what to do here is to create a new document and here select Part Design Workbench, and now create body and a new sketch in this plane here, YZ plane. And what we'll draw in this sketch here is this is this line here this arc and this vertical line okay so we select this polling tool and now click in this horizontal line click again and now press on three times and click here now two times sorry and now here we select this tangent constraint and we make these two lines tangent and now here we'll set the dimension of the sketch here so here we can see the dimension 50 and the range of 18.75 so we select this tool here and here we set this dimension and now we select this vertical distance tool click on this point and now this point here and we set 50 and now we select this horizontal distance tool we select this point here and this point and the distance here will be will be 23.75 plus this dimension here 51.25 and enter and now we'll leave the sketch press on and now we create a new sketch in X Z plane and here we'll draw a cycle we'll draw a cycle of the diameter of the cycle will be we can see here will be 25 so we change here to 25 and now leave the sketch and what you'll do next is to change the attachment of the cylinder here so we go to model and Ring click on mouse and select this option here and click in this button and now select this line and okay and now select this sketch here and go to additive pipe tool click in this button and now select this line and okay and next here we'll create this cylinder here so what to do is to go to these additive features and select additive cylinder and now we click in this face here okay and check this option and now here we change the radius and the height of the cylinder so for this cylinder we have a height of five millimeters we can see here and the radius of this cylinder will be the half of this dimension here so here we set five and here we'll set The half of this dimension here so now we'll click ok and next we'll create this cylinder here so we click in this tool here and now we'll select the xy plane and now select this point view and now here we'll change the radius the height and the placement of the cylinder so we go to this drain page and here we see this height and we see this diameter so he will set 10 and he will set 28.75 okay and next here we go to y axis and he will change he will change the y direction to let's see here he'll set this dimension here so we set minus 51.25 and now click ok and now we have this part here and next what we're going to do is to create this cylinder here so what to do is to click again this tool here and now we'll select this exit plane 
okay and now click in this front view and now we go to this option here and now we'll change the range, the height and okay here we have a diameter of 20 so the range here will be 10 and the height of the cylinder will be 36.5.25 okay and now we'll change Now we'll change the acceleration. Okay, you will change the white duration to. Okay, here we'll set. Here we'll set 50 minus 17.5. Okay, so now we click OK and and what we'll do next is to create this part here so we select this face and create a new sketch and here we select this rounded rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle and next here select this metal constraint and we select these two center points and now this origin point here and now we can see the dimension for this rectangle here we have a range of 5 for the fillet and you have this dimension so here we'll select this equal constraint we'll make this line equal to this line here and now we we'll select this constraint here and we set 5 for this arc here and next we we'll select this horizontal distance tool select this point and this point and set 50 okay and and now we leave this sketch and we go to pad tool check this option reverse it and the length of this pad here will be five millimeters so we change here to five and enter and now we select this face here and we go to this wall tool and here we'll change the diameter to five millimeters Okay, we we'll change here to 5 and now OK. And next here we we'll select this face and we'll create a new sketch. And here we'll draw a cycle of a cycle with this diameter 5. So here we we'll select this tool and extract this edge here and now we we'll we draw a cycle in this select this tool and draw a cycle here and constrain the diameter of this cycle to five millimeters okay and the distance between this center point here to the center point of the cycle will be will be the half of this dimension here so you will set this form and now click OK and leave the sketch. Now select this pocket tool and OK. And now we go to model and you select this pocket here and pull up a turn tool. And as a reference, here we'll set, we'll set, we'll select this edge here. And now we change the number of occurrence to 4 and OK yes and next we we'll select this face here and we create a new sketch what we want to create in this sketch is a sketch for this part here so here first we we'll select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here okay and now we we'll select this arc tool click in this point here and we draw this arc and click again and draw this arc here and next we draw this arc and this arc and now we select this line tool and we draw this line between these points here and 
and now select this constraint here, this tangent constraint, and now we make these arcs and lines tangent. And now the next step is to select this equal constraint and we make this arc here equal to this arc and now this arc equal to this arc and next here we select this metric constraint tool we select these two center points and this vertical line okay and now we select this point this constraint here and this point and this point here and now we select this cycle tool we draw this cycle here and this cycle and now we select equal constraint we make these two cycles equal and next here we'll set the dimension for the cycles and the arcs so here we can see a radius of 5 for this fillet and the diameter of 5 millimeters to the cycles and we see these radius here so first here we select this tool here set 5 and here we set 5 and now here we set this dimension and now we select this horizontal distance tool and it will set 35 and now leave this sketch here and go to pad tool check this option reverse it and the length of this pad will be let's see here will be 3.75 okay and now we have this okay and next here we go to model and in this first operation here we click in this arrow and now we select the sketch and we click on the mouse and go to this copy option here we copy this sketch and okay and now we click in this pass icon select this sketch here and drag this sketch into this body here and now space bar to make this sketch visible and now double click in this sketch and here will change the diameter of this cycle to 20 so double click here and set 20 millimeters and now leave this sketch here and next here we go to this tool and we click in this button here go to model and select this sketch and now click ok and as you can see now we have these these all here and next here we go to this cylinder and you select this face here and now we select this option inertial cs and check this option here Okay, and what we'll do here is to change the range of this cylinder and the height. So here we see we see a diameter of 15. So here will be the half of 15, and the height here will be we can set 28. And okay, and now we have this wall. And next here we create. We select this tool again and what to do is to select this face and now this option inertial cs and we check this option here again and now we change the radius here to the half of 15 and the height here will be will be 36 we can set 36 and click OK and now we have this wall here and as you can see is this model is finished we finished the design of this model here so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please leave a like okay